Hello guys, it's Claymore here, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, the much anticipated, the much waited for patch 1.4.0 is out tomorrow. And we just got, as of like about half an hour ago, the notes for this. Uh, I'm already seeing something on there which I really like, but obviously, if you find this video very informative, leave a like, comment on the video, what you like most about this uh, these patch notes. And of all, of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. would appreciate that. Without further ado, let's get involved. Patch 1.1.4.0. Hey, hey, prospectors. Do you have some time in your hands right now? Because we have some new patch notes hot out the oven ready to be perused. And because we didn't have an update last week, these ones will be a bit lengthy as we're striving to strike out a good game balance and iron out all of our remaining issues. So we were right. The reason why we didn't have a patch, or at least a big one last week, is because they were waiting for this one. As a quick heads up, the maintenance of this update will be a bit longer than usual as well. Remember the infrastructure changes we mentioned in our last notes? We're applying all those right now. Before we move to the main course, I'll start with the show with uh, an apologetic appetizer. Server issues and compensation. If you've been playing the Cycle Frontier lately, you may have noticed that we've been running into several server issues lately. While those will be put rest with, uh, with this update, we're aware of how much trouble they may have caused you. That's why we have decided to offer a small compensation to every player out there. So such every prospect who have logged into the game since July the 1st will receive the following for free after the update. 150,000 K-Max, one Scarab, one Advocate, one Maelstrom, two Shields, and a Helmet. It doesn't tell you what rarity it is, though, but I'm going to assume it's a blue. I'm assuming it's blue variety. I think it's nice, though. We apologize once more for the inconvenience, and thank you all for your patience and support. Without the way, there's no time to dive into the patch notes proper. So that's really nice. So they are compensating us with, you know, some, some nice guns and some extra body armor. I appreciate it. The 150k mark is nice, too. That's more or less a brute to buy for me for free, so that's nice. Let's move on to the meat and potatoes, though. Changes. Improved general fluidity and responsiveness of the heavy, heavy melee strike to delivering very hard head, head bonk should be a smoother experience. It was very clumsy, so that's good. Change the text box on timer skips to make clear that you can use either K-Max or Aurum, not both. I didn't have an issue with that, but, you know, good to make it clear anyways. Tweak the looting tables for the different creatures of Fortuna 3. Interesting. We worked the icons for some weapon attachments so they should be easier to differentiate from one another. I like that because more often than not, I'm wondering between which green stock is going to be the ones I'm looking for, i.e. standard stocks, tactical foregrip, etc. So that's really nice. Really, really nice. Various improvements to our general UI. Cool. Balancing an economy. Here we go. Tweak some crafting requirements. Orbital to cannon beacon. Delict explosives reduced from 6 to 3. That should reduce from 200 to 80? It's the same for the laser and oil pump beacons as well. Huh. I mean, I, I think that's good. Because the majority of the time, we're trying to ask other people for scripts and stuff like that. A lot of the people that I know who play this game quite a long time, they have to make new accounts so they can farm back main mission stories and then give the script back to the main account. So... I like this, and that is still about three hard missions you have to complete, or two hards and two mediums to, to get access to the script, which is pretty nice. I like that. Um, I guess this is okay as well. I don't think I minded the explosives too much, but either way, I'm fine with that. Increase the faction XP and k mac rewards of hard jobs by 50%. Ooh. So a 30k, like a, a hard mission that gives you 30k k mark is going to give you 45k now. And the faction XP is nice too. Very good. Very, very, very good. Reduce the repair costs of most gear. Oh. Sorry, I know I'm skipping, but look at this chat. Oh. Thank you, Jaeger. Thank you so much. I've been asking for this for such, for such, such a long time now. Oh, God, that's so good. Repair costs of incoming by 10%. Uh, rare to 20%, epic by 60%, exotic by 75%, and legendary by 85%. I, I just, that's, that's amazing. Exotics, you, you can actually run exotics now and not feel like you're breaking the bank every time you get hit. Thank you so much, Jacob. That's a, that's an amazing change. Re reduce the overall availability of grenade. Oh god, okay. Are they gonna do it? Are they gonna do it? Did they, did they, I think they listened to me, chat. I think they listened to me, what I suggested. Grenades have been removed from the shop and are now available in the crafting station for 300k max, two copper wires, and two hardened metals each. Okay, I wanted hard explosives for this craft. But I did suggest hardened metals as well as a potential one. I'm okay with that. 
I'm all right with that. I'm wondering how much you, uh, I'm wondering how many you get per craft. If it's just one, you need two copper wires, two iron medals. We'll see. They're probably going to be a bulk one. That's per one nade, I think, the way it's worded. Yeah, we'll have to see. I would expect it to be at least two, which I'm okay with. Grenade rarity level change from common to uncommon. Overall, reduce the amount of grenades found as loot on the surface. Reduce the amount of grenades received as mission rewards. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm very, 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 very happy with that. I wanted it to be maybe a little bit more of an expensive craft, but that was just me. The fact that they are craft only now is I'm fine with. If someone wants to come in still with, um, you know, with with 10 grenades and they've, and they've had to farm 20 wires and 20 harder metals, which, you know, not are not that hard to find, but it's time consuming. I'm okay with that. I'm very, very okay with that. Thank you very much, Jager, for listening to... Honestly, the suggestion that I put wasn't that far off. I asked for one derelict explosive and two hardened medals for like two or three nades. That's what I suggested, so this wasn't far off. Thank you very much, Jager. This is, this is great. This is really, really great. Uh, bug fixes. Improved general performance, especially regarding foliage and rendering distance. Yes, rendering has been a big issue. Uh, fixed issue where members of the same squad were dropping on different server instances. A similarly, fixed issue where players with very high matchmaking rank wouldn't be able to drop as a tree. I guess sometimes you're just that good. Fair enough. Fixed an issue where the shotguns fired with a slug attachment wouldn't deal the expected amount of damage. I wonder what that means. Are slugs weaker now, or I wonder what that means. You'd be now able to claim the cosmetic items even when your tash is full. There's always room for more swag after all. True, they don't take up slots. That's fine. Fix an issue that presented the Crusher Caverns from resetting properly. Oh, I really hope this is legit and I really hope this works. Because I, so many times I go in and the Crusher Caverns just have, it's, it's completely blank. There's nothing left in it. There's no creature parts, but it didn't reset. Hopefully that means we can do the dungeon a bit more. That's nice. Tweak waterfalls a bit so they can be the actual plan pretty selves. Research in your private quarter shouldn't take one second longer than indicated anymore. Think of that you'll be able to do with a whole second. That's fair. Fix some issues that prevent players from completing the tutorial. Fix a small graphical artifact when using 2x's with the basilisks. Never used 2x with the basilisk before, but fair enough. Fix several instances of rain pouring through ceilings, windows, and otherwise seemingly solid objects. Sure, the weather sucks in Fortune 3, but come on. <laughs> I will say I do like these the language of these patch notes. Fix a weird issue where weapon charms need to have a mind of their own on the preview screen. Tweak the maps a bit further, floating objects, misaligned buttons, and escapable pits, etc. So, fair enough. Corrected some pathfinding issues for confused wildlife. Fix some containers being visible until approach. No more stealth field generators for boxes. Fair enough. Good, good. Bullets will now pierce tarps from both sides. Good. This has been annoying me for the longest time. I'm happy they're doing that. Weapon attachments will now be fully visible from the crafting station. Fix issues that require a new spray. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to start skipping this a little bit. Chat apologies. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, foaming at enemy prospective right as they foam you should now count as trade extra pressure from raising mission. Double KOs never get all. So trades, you'll get the kill progression for. Fair enough. Fix some visual issues with the crusher to a range attack. Also, killing a crusher with a heavy melee attack won't send it into enter space anymore. Really? That was a thing? That sounds cool. <laughs> Fix more issue teleport more or teleporting around. Dealing damage process way out of their reach. Retracting pearls will turn their backs on them. Super Jeff has been nerfed. Good. Good. This has been an issue as well. I've been annoying. Fix a visual issue, we're accepting a new mission when we seem to reset progress on existing ones. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen this one too. Constant crumbling mineral nose. More the issues when natural traps like bird fox with the sound of the wrong location. Fair. You should now properly see the outlets of your squad mates while on the surface. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh yeah, this one. Fix an issue where the ramps of a laser drill will disappear when moving too far away. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen this one. This one was annoying. Uh issue where insured items wouldn't appear properly in your private quarters after being foamed. Cool. Fix issue that prevented players from interacting with dead drops. Fair enough, didn't know that was a thing. Change a couple of spawning locations for drop bar. You shouldn't start your exploration session running to angry locals now. Fair enough. Fix an issue that would also apply weapon coating when trying to equip a weapon charm. And various right to changes localization fixes. Miscellaneous. Starting the game in admin mode will now create an error. Please make sure you're not launching the game in admin mode. I don't know if I am doing that, so we'll see if I do that. The biker queen is now called the monarch. All hail the new paragon of badassery. Well, this is a very, very big patch. I am sad to see there is nothing regarding armor. 
I will say. I was really hoping there will be something about armor. Hopefully that will come in a the next patch after. But I am very happy with a lot of these changes. I'm happy with the beacons being cheaper to craft now. Or at least more appropriate to craft. I'm happy that hard jobs give you more now. I'm happy that exotic and legendary and epic items aren't so expensive to craft anymore. And I'm happy that grenade availability has been heavily earned. I'm very, very happy with that. Alright guys, additionally, we just had a little bit of a word with one of the community managers and they uh, have just updated us in regards to uh, cheaters. Obviously there's a big cheaters problem in the game right now, so we're going to quickly run through the addition to the patch notes after we just covered. The visit from, this is from Toast, this is the anti-cheat dev team leader. He's a really cool guy, he's helped me out a lot, getting a lot of people banned, so let's see what he has to say. Hi everyone, I wanted to drop in my own two cents here, as I forgot to get a hold of the rest of the TM team before this went out. As per usual, I'd say they do slip my mind. We're all human. As per usual, this update goes comes with some back-end anti-cheat tweaks. They are minor and you're lucky with the big change in your end, but they help us to more quickly detect cheaters and obviously add up over time. In addition, we still we are still hard at work on our cheater conversation system, which will automatically help players get the lost gear back who are killed by a cheater whenever one gets banned. I don't have a deadline for this yet. Obviously, we won't be able to slip into this patch. However, we are working it to get out as soon as possible. I hope this feature will help make deaths from cheaters lasting a lot less. And as a bonus, it will be a nice visual for you guys to see how many users we are banning in real time as you will receive a package whenever a cheater that kills you get banned. So, you guys want to prove that people are going to get banned? If you, uh, if you, uh, if you, if the guy, if the cheater killed you and you get your stuff back, there's your proof. I am sort of uh, working on a mini blog post that I will likely post on the subreddit this week. It will include more details about a conversation system, as well as some more insight into what our current plans for attitudes are effort going forward. Happy, happy prospecting. Well, thank you very, very much for that. Um, Toast, I appreciate that, man. And thank you to the, uh, Thank you to the uh, community managers for listening to me. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Overall, this is a fantastic patch. I didn't see anything about armor, but regardless of that, the compensation's nice, and uh, I'm hoping to see more soon. Uh, with that being said, guys, that is the 1.4.0 patch notes. Looking forward to see seeing it myself for the first time. Yeah, happy with it. Overall round. Until next time, let me try that again. Until next time, guys, take care, stay safe, love you all. And peace.